Welcome to the Teledynamics video training series for Yay Link phones. Here are the topics being covered today. For simplicity, I've added a table of contents in the description below, allowing you to jump to a particular content section of the video. Now, let's get started. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a third-party application like Teams onto a Yealink T58 phone. If you have a different Android-based Yealink phone model, this method will also work for you. To clarify, these instructions only apply to the OpenSIP firmware on a Yealink phone and will not work on the SFB or Teams versions of Yealink phones. Today's video only shows Microsoft Teams being installed, but you can also install older versions of Zoom and various other applications this same way. As you may already have discovered, third-party applications for Android devices are distributed as APK files. Basically, you need three things to install an APK file onto the A-Link phone. A downloaded APK file of the application you wish to install an HTTP server to host the downloaded APK file, and a CFG file that instructs the phone on where to get the APK file from the HTTP server. It's really that easy. A great resource to find older APK files is apkmirror.com. I want to use an older version of an APK file, as newer versions are only compatible with later versions of Android and may cause the phone to become unstable or just may not install at all. Once you locate and download the APK file to use, the next step is to copy it to an HTTP server. If you do not have an HTTP server to use, you can download a free one for Windows like the one shown here called HFS. Next, create a text file and enter the information as shown. I've copied the three lines of text into the description below to make it easier for you to copy and paste into your new CFG file. Of course, you will need to edit the third line with the server URL of your HTTP server and the file name that you used. Make sure you save your new text file with the CFG file extension. Now that you've created your CFG file, log into the web GUI of the Yealink phone and navigate to Settings, Configuration. Here you will browse to your CFG file under CFG Configuration. Next, click Import, and the file will be uploaded to the phone. To verify that the APK file is now being uploaded, you can check the HTTP server logs. To verify that the APK file is now installing, check the message waiting indicator, as it should be blinking rapidly. Once the APK installation is complete, the MWI will stop blinking rapidly and the icon for the program will appear on the application screen of the phone. Once installed, verify that the program works properly by logging into Teams and navigating through the various screens. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. The voiceover service featured in this video has been provided by me, Allison Smith of the IVR Voice. Contact me today for your customized IVR and voice services needs. If you have questions or need additional information about the topics covered in today's video, please contact your Teledynamics salesperson or contact us using the information provided here.